We shall now go through some more special problems in differential equations. You observe the problem. If dy by dx is equal to sin of x plus y plus cos of x plus y and y at 0 is 0, then what is tan of x plus y by 2? That is the question. That is the question. It is a well known, famous, special problem, important problem. Yes, it has been asked for so many number of times and so, at so many competitive examinations also. Okay, right, let us proceed. Put x plus y is equal to t implies 1 plus dy by dx is equal to dt by dx. dt by dx. Okay. Therefore, dy by dx is therefore equal to dt by dx minus 1. Let us substitute the same here in the problem. Implies dt by dx minus 1 is equal to sin t plus cos t. Sin t plus cos t implies dt by dx is equal to 1 plus sin t plus cos t. 1 plus sin t plus cos t. From this we can have dx is equal to dt by 1 plus sin t plus cos t plus cos t. Integrating on both the sides, integral of dx is equal to integral of dt by 1 plus sin t plus cos t. Now this problem has been thrown into the one of the most standard models of indefinite integrals uh, and you may have to use the substitution tan t by 2 is equal to some z or some u. Let call this equation 1. Let tan t by 2 is equal to u. Secant square t by 2 into 1 by 2 dt is equal to du. What is secant square t by 2? 1 plus u square, isn't it? Therefore, secant square t by 2 is equal dt is equal to 2 du. 2 du. 2 du. But secant square t by 2 is nothing but 1 plus u square, isn't it? Therefore, dt is equal to 2 du by 1 plus u square. 1 plus u square. Good. Therefore, 1 becomes, how does it become? x is equal to integral of, what is dt? 2 du by 1 plus u square. 2 du by 1 plus u square by 1 means 1 sin t. What is sin t? 2 tan t by 2 by 1 plus tan square t by 2. Therefore, it is, come on, 2u by 1 plus u square. Again, cos t. What is cos t? 1 minus t square by 1 plus t square. 1 minus tan square t by 2 by 1 plus tan square t by 2. That is, 1 minus u square by 1 plus u square. 1 minus u square by 1 plus u square. Now let us multiply both numerator and denominator of that expression by 1 plus u square. What is going to happen? This is 2 du by 1 plus u square plus 2u plus 1 minus u square. Automatically u square and u square go away. What is going to happen? u square, u square. Integral of 2 du by 2 plus 2u and 2 can again be cancelled leaving you is nothing but du by u plus 1 du by u plus 1 well my dear we have reached the 
position of climax of course that was the that will be the last step in producing the answer of course integral of du by u plus 1 is nothing but log mod du plus 1 are we right so the ultimate solution is uh, x is equal to log mod u plus 1 plus c but you see the question is not to get the general solution we are to get tan of x plus y by 2 so a uh, very few steps of simplification are still remain you please uh, you please go through these steps keep these uh, in your mind after following them i would like to remove these steps so that i may be in a position to use this space for further simplification okay the next one therefore from the last step there we can see that u is equal to log mod u plus 1 plus c or even you can introduce the constant on this side also that is log mod u plus 1 is equal to x plus k where k is a constant plus c comes to this side becomes minus c i am supposing that minus c as k of course what is u from this u plus 1 is equal to e power x plus k u plus 1 is equal to e power x plus k therefore u is equal to e power x plus k minus 1 but what is u tan t by 2 isn't it tan t by 2 is equal to e power x plus k minus 1 again what is t x plus y tan of x plus y by 2 which is the heroine of the problem of course that has been asked here to tan t by 2 that is tan of x plus y by 2 is supposed to be e power x plus k minus 1 still that k is unknown and still there has been one particular item which is not used so far that is why at 0 is 0 we have to use it so that we may be getting k yes for that thing I need to remove this these steps please understand the steps and keep them in your mind so that shortly I'll be going to remove those steps call this equation 2 but y at 0 is 0 y at 0 is 0 you see what is tan t tan of x plus y by 2 is equal to e power x plus k minus 1 hence tan of 0 plus 0 by 2 is equal to e power 0 plus k minus 1 tan of 0 is 0 minus 1 becomes this side e power k is equal to 1 minus 1 comes this side e power k is equal to 1 isn't it this is equal to e power 0 1 you can have as e power 0 e power k is equal to 0 hence you can say that k is equal to 0 k is equal to 0 therefore 2 becomes come on 2 becomes tan of x plus y by 2 is equal to e power x minus 1 because k is 0. Those are the steps needed for us to get the ultimate result. Tan of x plus y by 2 is e power x minus 1 is the right answer. Look at the next problem which is before us x square minus 1 into dy by dx plus 2xy is equal to 1 is equal to 1 moreover y of 0 is 0 then what is y of 2 y of 2 okay let us look at this this implies x square minus 1 into dy plus 2x dx into y is equal to dx am i correct what is the benefit for us by splitting this like this you observe carefully a beautiful hint is involved in this step have you got the idea it's very simple look here 
derivative of y into x square minus 1. Derivative of x square minus 1 into y. Therefore, this can be written as d of x square minus 1 into y. Excellent, excellent. And absolutely correct, the suitable differential. Look here. u dash v, v dash u model. Yes, of course. Done, what is there? It has been found. We have, we have almost reached the position of climax to get the general solution, isn't it? Okay, integrate it on both the sides. x square minus 1 into y is equal to x plus c. Now, this is the right occasion, of course, to make use of this information that is y of 0 is 0. Did it? You call this equation 1. But y at 0 is 0. What does it mean? This curve, of course, passes through the horizon. This curve passes through the horizon. Therefore, what should happen? 0 minus 1 into 0 is equal to 0 plus c. Uh, thereby getting c is equal to 0. c is equal to 0. And by substituting c is equal to 0, we see that 1 becomes. How does it become? Come on. x square minus 1 into y is equal to x. Is equal to x implies y is equal to x by x square minus 1. And we want to have y at 2, isn't it? Therefore, at x is equal to 2, y is equal to 2 by 2 square minus 1, that is 2 by 3. That is the answer. You can follow it very, very easily. The only thing here involved in the solution is uh, you have to get this idea. These are the two crucial steps here. d of x square minus 1 into y is equal to dx. The hence uh, by integrating which uh, we will be having the answer directly as x, minus x square minus 1 into y is equal to x plus c. And of course, it's not difficult to get the arbitrary constant c here. He has given us an, a piece of information. What is that? Y of 0 is 0. There is a curve passes through the horizon, thereby getting c is equal to 0. As the curve passes through the horizon, there will be no more constants at all. Okay, therefore, that is the curve. And at x is equal to 2, y is surely 2 by 3. That is the answer. The next immediate question is, of course, available on the board. Let us go through that. Sin x into dy by dx plus y cos x is equal to x sin x. Then what is y minus 1 into sin x? The question, you answer, you, you, you follow the question, you observe the question. We are not asked any y at 0 or y at 1 like that. A part of the general solution, y minus 1 into sin x is equal to how much? Of course, in the answer, constant will be involved, no doubt about it. Because there has not been given even a single piece of information to know or to find the constant. No information has been given. Therefore, notice that in the answer, constant will be involved. Why? Because the question is, of course, a part of the general solution of the given differential equation. Okay, 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 okay. Again, sin x in dy plus cos x dx into y is equal to x sin x dx. You might have followed the style of uh, uh, rearranging the terms. I could have written cos x dx in a bracket. So far, you might have got the idea, the proper idea that must be used here. You follow? different derivative of y into sin x, derivative of sin x into y. Is it it? Therefore, LHS is just nothing but d of sin x into y is equal to x sin x dx. x sin x dx. Okay, now let us 
try to integrate on both the sides on integration on integration what do you have sin x into y that is y sin x is equal to integral of x sin x of course you may have to use integration by parts here to have integral of x into sin x we do that what is that no problem minus cos x minus integral of derivative of f dash dx 1 into integral of sin x is minus cos x dx so that this is minus x cos x minus of minus plus integral of cos x is sin x plus sin x plus c plus c okay this is all y sin x is equal to isn't it now you observe the question y minus 1 of sin x that is the question that we require it's nothing but y sin x minus sin x oh, oh you bring just that sin x this side what is going to happen y sin x minus sin x is equal to c minus x cos x or y minus 1 into sin x minus x cos x plus c this is of course the required answer that is the required answer well as in the previous case for this problem also these two steps are the crucial steps that you must get that idea or otherwise some students like to make this in terms of a linear equation of course we have not yet come across that linear form of differential linear differential equation we shall be uh, touch, discussing with that in the uh, one more session so you need not go in that way you can go in this way so that the answer will directly be obtained within one or two steps by this step itself we are able to have an idea about the general solution from which you are able to get y sin x y sin x is equal to minus x cos x plus sin x plus c yes of course uh, and you see as we discussed in the very beginning itself the solution involves a constant c why because no piece of information has been given us to find c thereby in the answer of y minus 1 into sin x constant is also involved there you look at that is the answer please observe it carefully look at the next question it has been written on the board a curve passes through the point 1 2 and has the slope of the tangent at any point x y as 2 by y minus 2 then the curve is he has given some four options the curve is a straight line a parabola a circle and ellipse like this four options are given which option is the right option we are to decide we are to decide we should feel happy of course some differential equation will be involved in the data and it passes through 1 2 what does it mean y of 1 is 2 that is if you substitute x is equal to 1 then y is equal to 2 this is very much useful for us of course uh, to find the constant c okay let us follow the question very carefully a curve passes through the point 1 2 and has the slope of the tangent at any point x y is as 2 by y minus 2 well done what do you mean by slope of the tangent at any point x y it's is it not dy by dx of course if a particular point say x1 y1 is given then it is uh, denoted f by f dash x1 or dy by dx at x1 y1 but such things are not given here it has been given that slope of the tangent at at any point any general point x y is what does it mean dy by dx isn't it so from the data we directly start with the step dy by dx is equal to 2 by y minus 2 
cross multiply or y minus 2 dy is equal to 2 dx. Very simple of course, you integrate it. Integral of y minus 2 dy is equal to 2 into integral dx. What is integral of y? y square by 2 minus 2y is equal to 2x plus some constant you may have to put and I like to write the constant as c by 2. Multiply with the 2. What happens? y square minus 4y is equal to 4x plus c y square minus 4y is equal to 4x plus c. So, y square minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 4 into x plus 1 plus c. I think you might have observed, actually speaking, you can stop here itself. You can stop here itself. Um, but actually, one more information has also been given. What is that? One. 2, but you call this 1, 1 passes through, passes through 1 comma 2. Let us make use of that, y square is 4, 4y four is 4 into 2, isn't it? 4 into 2 is equal to 4x, that is 4 plus 6, isn't it? 4 twos are 8, 4 minus 8 is minus 4, so c is equal to minus 8. Therefore, c is equal to minus 8, isn't it? Therefore, 1 becomes y square minus 4y is equal to 4x minus 8. Let me add 4 on both the sides so that y square minus 4y plus 4 is equal to 4x minus 4. I have added 4. So that this is nothing but y minus 2 whole square is equal to 4 into x minus 1. Everybody can believe that it is a parabola with vertex at the point 1 comma 2 and with the lattice rectum, length of the lattice rectum as 4 units as 4 units whose axis is parallel to x axis, isn't it? So, it is surely a parabola. You please observe the question, the curve is, that is the question. He has not asked us actually the solution or any other thing, the nature of the solution. What type of graphical picture it does show? It does show a parabola, it is a parabola. So, you may have to choose the option parabola. It is, uh, it is very evident and clear by looking at that answer. Everybody can believe that and can know that uh, is aware of that. Uh, it is a parabola with vertex 1 comma 2. With lattice rectum, length of the lattice rectum 4 units. With axis parallel to x axis, isn't it? That's it. Even though the information is very simple, answer has certain speciality. You are supposed to analyze the answer. What shape does it represent? That is the question. Solution of this is, this is of course one of the simplest questions. The next question, it is available on the board. Look at that. Well, here it is y dx minus x dy. You recollect your uh, memory. Come on. If x dy minus y dx is in the numerator, what can be in the denominator? You can introduce x square, you can introduce y square, you can introduce x y, you can introduce x square y square, you can have x square plus y square, like that. Which is suitable among them and which is available here? You look here, y square is available. So let us divide with y square on both the sides. So that we have y dx minus x dy by y square plus e power x power 4 into 4 x cube dx is equal to 0. This is one of the straight and simple questions. No additional information is given and no additional question is also asked. We are just to have the general solution only. Come on, is going to be had within two or three steps. Come on, this is nothing but, this is nothing but 
d of x by y or y by x dx is appearing in the beginning y square is in the denominator so it is d of x by y and you observe it carefully come on this is nothing but d of e power x power 4 you can easily observe it come on friend e power x power 4 into derivative of x power 4 is 4x cube dx isn't it okay by integrating we will be going to have x by y plus e power x power 4 is equal to c is of course the given a required solution one of the easiest questions this is the answer okay yes the next next question before us is 1 plus e power x by y dx plus e power x by y into 1 minus x by y dy is equal to 0 here also the general solution is only required let us try to simplify dx plus e power x by y dy plus e power x by y into dx minus x by y dy is equal to 0. Therefore, dx plus e power x by y dy plus e power x by y into y dx minus x dy by y is equal to 0. Therefore, dx plus e power x by y dy plus y into e power x by y into y dx minus x dy by y square is equal to 0. I think you could have understood what is done here. I would like to see y square in the denominator. That's all. Why? 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 What is the benefit you are going to get? by observing y square here you can have this as d of y by x isn't it okay therefore this is dx plus e power x by y in dy plus y into this entire thing d of e power x by y is equal to zero any problem well, my dear, you please observe this particular expression. Derivative of y into e power x by y. Differential of e power x by y into y. What does it mean? This is dx plus d of y into e power x by y. Is it, or is it correct or not? You please verify once. You please verify once. In this solution, every step, every step has its significance so as to reach the correct answer. Every step has its significance, has its significance. What else is there? Just a matter of integration. What will be the general solution? Of course, we have reached the position of climax. What is integral of dx? x. Plus y e power x by y is equal to c is of course the right answer and no further information has been given at all to find c that's all the answer is x plus y into e power x by y is equal to c it's a beautiful problem to look at that is the question observe it carefully as I told you as it as we could discuss every step has its significance every step has its significance to have in a particular idea only I could have split these two brackets in the beginning and by looking at this of course uh, y square is needed in the denominator such idea is uh, very easy to get of course a very person can easily get that idea and by looking at this it is nothing but d of e power x by y you clap these two so that this product is of course uh, the sum is of course uh, differential of y into e power x by y is equal to 0 thereby the answer is x plus y into e power x by y is equal to c is the right answer it's a good question another question is 
dy by dx is equal to 3x plus y plus 4 whole square dy by dx is equal to 3x plus y plus 4 whole square general solution is as usual we put 3x plus y plus 4 is equal to t 3 plus dy by dx is equal to dt by dx and you imagine that 3 is added on both the sides 3 plus dy by dx is equal to you call this one therefore 1 becomes 3 plus is nothing but dt by dx 3 plus t square 3 plus t square so dt by 3 plus t square is equal to dx okay integrate it on both the sides integral of dt by t square plus root 3 whole square is equal to integral of dx well done this is uh, this looks like 1 by x square plus a square what is the integral of 1 by x square plus a square 1 by a tan inverse x by a that is 1 by root 3 tan inverse of t by root 3 is equal to x plus c let me write c by root 3 what is that multiply with root 3 tan inverse of t by root 3 is equal to x root 3 plus c tan in r t by root 3 is equal to tan of x root 3 plus c but what is t 3x plus y plus 4 therefore 3x plus y plus 4 is equal to root 3 into tan of x root 3 plus c is of course the required answer and you can simplify up to what extent you like to have you can fix y here and you send 3x plus 4 that side also that will be another shape of the general solution that's it